Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. I'm sure you've heard of the earthquake that has taken place in Morocco. Well over a thousand people have died. I am raising money with one ummah to help those affected. It is of course 100% donation so make sure you guys donate using the link in the description. Now because you guys are normal people yeah with a few brain cells give and take depends who's watching when you hear of an earthquake immediately you go how can I help those who are affected however not everybody thinks like this and especially now we've heard of the extreme nature the pressure cooker that is cooking India which is the current extreme government the Hindutva the nationalists the Bakhts whatever you want to call them mate yeah they are creating a culture of intolerance a culture of oppression of minorities I'm sure you've heard it guys and something which reflected this as soon as the Morocco earthquake took place this individual said remember this question mark Morocco football team asking people to convert to Islam so why didn't Allah the savior save the Morocco from <laughs> earthquake I think towards the end of that even the grammar gave up on him frankly if you if you look on the profile of this capeless brainless wonder he goes uh, I'm a Hindu nationalist political geek regular offender I questioned him saying to clarify do you think earthquakes imply God isn't saving you reason being because I was like if this guy says yes then what are you gonna say about Japan what are you gonna say about America what are you gonna say about most of the countries in the globe that have faced an earthquake of some sort he goes no it implies God is punishing you isn't that what I was okay and then he quotes the Quran it will be momentous it will be i.e future tense in the heavens and the earth it will not come on you but of a sudden now this seems like a ayah which has got nothing to do with what I've asked him but of course you and I know it's referring to the future i.e the day of judgment you just need to look at the few verses that are before this but what was hilarious was the response from these Indians mate yeah Ray goes owned him <laughs> and then Rish Ba Professor go uh, laughing emojis Mukesh goes <laughs> Chandra laughing Lalit laughing Shubham laughing so a lot of these guys you know, you know what's hilarious these people honestly are living in a bubble in India they literally feel so emboldened and empowered in their delusions that they are now trying their nonsense in other countries like we know here in the UK more specifically in Leicester they tried it here as well but it just goes to show if your belief is predicated upon hating like they claim that Muslims are however you won't see nonsense like this when earthquakes and stuff like this happens the times that you will see it will probably come from the countries that are being occupied by a foreign power however you can't say that about India mate so the point that I was saying was that look hate does not discriminate if today you ignore it just because it's the Muslim minorities and the Dalits that are being affected look Christians are being affected there now as well but the point is that look when your faith is based upon hatred it's based upon stuff like this it blinds you that's why you know even in Islam we have a falsification test in the Quran as well that if it was other than God in it you would find loads of contradictions so the Quran welcomes people to check it according to the yardstick of human rationality and it should make people that come from the backgrounds that these people do where a wrong quote has been posted and people are oh, yeah I'm not gonna check it mate well, well done mate you quoted something uh, from the holy book that's got nothing to do with what he said mate and it's out of context I, I don't get it like what's the what's the thinking behind there strange mate but at least it gives us an opportunity to show our human self and donate to the people that are suffering. Let's leave it there, guys. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.